Starting. Hello. Are we live? Are we broadcasting to the world? I can see us here. Oh, cool. Hello. Are we live? Are we broadcasting to the world? Let down the volume. Hi, Hello, hello. everyone. Okay, I have, I have to fix the screen. This isn't gonna be very professional, by the way. <laughs> really? <laughs> Yeah, YouTube hasn't made this easy. No, this was way harder than we thought. Be very professional, by the way. Really? Can you yeah, put down the volume there? Okay, hey, hello everyone. We have oh, got some oh. comments already. How do I adjust the screen? Why do? Why is there a black screen on half of the screen? Hmm. Well, you, you'll have to entertain them. Okay, well, I'll do this. let's start with some comments here. Blumman, you said that. Why did you break that fibula? <laughs> <laughs> did you break it? No, I didn't break it. It was a few meters apart, those parts. If you haven't seen them, I found like a, like a really, really awesome looking fibula from, uh, yeah, Viking, Viking Age. Uh, like two days oh, ago. Did, did you see what I did? No. I fixed it. I fixed it. No, you broke it. Okay, now we... No? Shit! Are you drunk already? Yeah, I'm drunk. Uh, Yal is dropping beer cans. Um, okay. That's us. That's us. Förstår ni vad det säger alla prata alla danska med gröt i munnen? Well... Uh, uh, question was for the English viewers if we understand the Danes or if and they do. speak with uh, porridge in their mouth. Cheers. Cheers. They do speak a bit strange, but uh, Bornholm people have a dialect that is closer to Swedish than mainland Denmark. So we kind of understand if we focus hard and listen to keyboards, right? Yeah, we understand everything. Mm, I understand some. But it's a mix of Swedish, English, Danish that we're speaking. So it can get quite tricky sometimes, but uh, I believe our yeah. discussions have been pretty good. We have had some good discussions about history and today we were with, out with the Bornholm Museum and everything. Learn this a little bit. We have two laptops here, so I have to look a little bit that way and that way. How many people have tuned in? Yeah, Henrik has turned in. He, thank you for the shout out, Henrik. Ooh, he had some Henrik. awesome videos. Too, you should check him out if you haven't already. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see now. 19 people don't have anything better to do with their lives. Nice. So 20, it's rising. Okay, can we make it 30? Everyone call their Moms and grandmothers and sisters. Oh, we lost someone. 19. Okay. And how many comments? Uh, let's start from the beginning. Uh, yeah. It was Hendrik. Oh, we, we, we haven't planned anything. We just sit here oh. and drink beer. You so can that's, ask that's us anything if you want in the chat. And then we try to answer everything you, you have for us. Yeah. And maybe we can tell you a little bit about our trip and... Where we've been and what we've done, but let's start with the questions. I'm sure they're very curious about us. Samuel, at, at least, asks here, like, uh, have you spoken Swedish with any of the Danes and that we answered already? Yes, I speak lots of Swedish with them. Sometimes they look like question marks, the Danes, and sometimes it's a little bit smoother. Yeah, t today we were sitting with the archaeologists and uh, we were drinking coffee and yeah, we could understand almost nothing <laughs> when they were talking about the feeble lessons stuff yeah, like when that. they get really excited and shouting it's yeah, hard it but was it was difficult but uh, yeah. but if, if you focus if you yeah. focus then then you catch it vikings in the house and then yeah Cheers. Eva, can you save this live, Snella? Yes, I said that now. 
And what? We got some... Well, what does that mean? We got a donation. Did, did someone don't give us... Why are you giving, a, <laughs> they're giving us money? <laughs> oh, cheers. Who gave uh, money? Uh, Kilia. Is that how you pronounce your name? Akilia? Akilia? Knox Brothers. It. Hello, oh, Knox Brothers. Know. Thank cheers. you. Cheers. cheers. And then Knox Brothers, also 199. Mm-hmm. Thank you. That's America as well. Thank you very much. I didn't expect uh, money. <laughs> But what did we have here? Twenty people watching. Yes. Magnesium blue says hi. How do we know it's live? Can you wave? Yes, it's it's live. Well, this is pretty funny. I like this. Yeah, first time live streaming ever in our lives. Yeah, so, this is our first. But we're gonna do it all together with you, guys. And Harry, I detect. Oh, Harry. Hey, Harry. Thumbs up. <laughs> Hello there, Harry. You will, you will always be your third Viking. <laughs> oh, main man. Yeah. yeah, Harry has that channel from England. I'm sure most of it are aware. And uh, we went metal detecting in the fall with him. He's a really great guy. We had yeah. so much fun. We were finding Romans to the left, Romans to the right. Romans down, Romans up. <laughs> and uh, Harry is still... He he put out a new video today. Haven't had time to check it yet, but uh, he had some awesome finds, I think, from the title. Mm. Uh, I guess we have to check that video out after this stream. Sure enough. So thanks for being in there, Harry. I yeah. detect if you want to check out this channel. Yeah. We do recommend it. Yeah, Kings of the big time. Uh, Bluma says, I think Danish is hard to understand, like people from Skåne. Skåne girls? <laughs> yeah, Sk- Skåne is a bit tricky as well, but I'm getting quite, we're getting quite good at that also, I would say. Yeah. I worked with some Skåne people. Um, Hi, uh, Harry, we will come back. Maybe a detective. De- detective. We have been thinking yeah. about going to the detective. If Emily is free from work, yeah. from work, we have to check our schedules a little bit. But if it's possible, we're gonna be there. And that was in September, is it? September, yes. Yeah. And now they just had the mini detective wall in England, and they found a hoard during the. It was detective like three hundred. Silver coins and a few mm, gold coins too. Bad. We were thinking about going there, but we chose Bottom Home instead, Denmark. Should we have gone there as well? Yes, or just we should. There? No, we've, been, we've been finding so much stuff here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the Knox brothers uh, have been flying with the drones and didn't crash. Good. We also bought a drone actually, and uh, yeah, we have some. Good footage coming up yeah. soon when we have time to edit. Indeed, indeed. The drone is pretty, pretty amazing. Have seen some of the footage and it just goes like around and it's like oh, I can... 360 true Vikings. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. You can see us detecting from up and sides. Yeah. And... and I like the shots when you go, walk with your metal detector, and then the drone just takes off like yes and then, there. And then open field Treasure yeah everywhere. we have some awesome footage I think I think it turned out really well and well, we have missed some really counting Denmark yes good guys yeah, yeah we are we... still in Denmark actually for one more week or so so yeah we are in Bornholm now the Island in the Baltic, and on Thursday, right? Yeah. On Thursday, we'll drive to the west side of Denmark, northwest side, to North Jutland. Is it called Jutland? Something like that. Something, Something like, like that. that. So there's two guys that we're gonna metal detect for a couple of days with. They have also some great land across an old church from the 12th century. Or that's what they claim. Yeah. Maybe they have just scammed us or something. 
But we'll, we'll see. I, I we'll think see. that will be special. <laughs> anyway, Thursday is road trip, six hour driving to the other side of Denmark. We're gonna be there a few days and then to Copenhagen to fly home. Exactly. Oh, Carlsberg. Yes, it is. Yes. We love the Danish beer. And how much Danify, or I don't know how to pronounce it, Danify. Yeah, you had to do like you have something in your trunk. Danify. Danify. Have you found yet? It was only the Fibula. What else? We have found some yeah, random we, we, we have been bragging on stuff. stuff. We found a few pieces from old knives. Like um, bronze age or something? Maybe bronze age. Oh. The experts didn't know. And some and what else did wind, we find? wind duels. Oh yeah, the spindle wheels. Spindle wheels. Lead spindle wheels from when you spindle wood or spin it. Or do something with wool threads. <laughs> tailor stuff. Yeah. You know, rotate stuff. And yeah. I don't know. And today, I don't know if we have, we can spoil this yet, but uh, should we? Should we spoil should. it? We found something awesome today. Do we have the book here somewhere? Yes. Have you guys heard about that? About that place, Sortemund. I think the Danes have at least. Mm, they should have. Some will we'll probably know. Yes, yeah, some somewhere will we'll know. Yes. Let me show you some photos. So, um, Sortemund is one of the uh, biggest, richest Iron Age settlements in uh, Northern Europe, and they have discovered there it is this golden man. They call it gold gubba, gold man, and it's like pieces of. Gold, not really foil, a little bit thicker, but uh, they had it for sacrificial purposes, religious purposes, and they spread it out somewhere along the settlement or um, along the temples and the floor, perhaps. And where were we today, Jan? We were actually right at the center at the temple. We were in the temple, in the temple, in the temple where the temple had stood. They have, like, you could see bones, you could see, yeah, ceramics of some, all, everything, and uh, uh, it was awesome. It was That's one of the awesome. most, uh, best, best, me- best, 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 best metal detecting days I have ever had. Yeah. Because we, we got invited by the museum here in Bonholm. Uh, they started a dig there, an excavation on Monday. Yes, yesterday. yesterday. And so we went there now on Tuesday, and they, they of course were true Vikings, come on, help us here. And we went with our metal detectors and helped them sieve a little bit and wash the soil. And and uh, yeah, we found some really good stuff. Should we, do we dare to show them? Yeah. Something I about with gold. Gold Some, color. Something, it was uh, something gold. Gold yes. goob, uh, yes. Yes, oh, no. s- somewhere the knew that it was working out here. Gold goob, I will yes. show them a photo. Let me see, let me see. Gallery. John Kernan said you found a book. No, we, we got the book <laughs> actually from, uh, from the... Bornholm Archaeologist uh, Amateur Archaeologist Club guy. He gave us that one. Yeah, really friendly Re- guy. Thank really, you, Ken. yeah, really friendly people. That's what what we found today. We had to give it to the museum, but do you see? It's a good goodbye, a golden man. So it's in reality, it's like that small. Really, yeah, really hard small. to find. You wanna say it again? Good goodbye. And there's some figure of um, a man, a man or a god or something that way or that, that way. way. It's like, wow. Well, actually, it was our friend Ken who found it right next to us. But I think <laughs> yeah. we, I think we kind of, yeah we kind of found it. I would yes, say. yes. We were there. He, he found two of those, two of and he was like, re- like next to us. And, mm-hmm. So I would say we found 
it as a group. It, 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 it a was group. a group, yes. And he was like, really oh. oh, there's so many comments now. Oh, there's so many Jutland. comments. Jutland. Jutland. Okay. Christian is here too. He, we're going to detect with Christian actually in a few oh, days. Oh yeah, there he is, Christian. So uh, we will be looking forward to meet you on Friday, I think. And Sebastian Hernandez asks here is how is the process of your fines? Do you guys have to hand them over to the government or do you keep them? And now in Denmark, we yeah we hand out everything over. Um, well, every- if anything that's uh, older than 500 years, you have to bring to the museum. But if it's like historical significance, gold, treasure, or something younger than that, you will also have to, to hand it in. But now that we have been here, we have been spending a lot of time with the local club, and uh, they just uh, we just give the funds to them, and they will hand it. So just when we find them on the field, we put them in a plastic bag, write down some coordinates, give the bag to them, and off it goes to the museum. Yes. So that's how it's done here in Denmark. Like the fibula I found, it went pretty fast. I <laughs> didn't see it again. <laughs> and uh, it's gonna end up and the good, 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 good went even faster. It was like, oh, found it and gone. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite crazy, actually. Uh, actually, they had a like big photo shoot when he when Ken found the uh, good, 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 and Everybody came running. Like I have photos of that actually. And uh, I took photos of the photo shoot. There were some tourists looking at us all the time. Well, yeah, two tourists looking at us when we were metal detecting, and everybody came running when Ken Ken found one. And yeah, Emil will show a picture. Not sure how well. See that? So there's a photo shoot of him finding it. That. We'll probably go to the local newspaper or something. They had this big ass camera that they hold there and started filming. And uh, magnesium blue, can we see that cat on the shirt? Yeah, I think it's that cat. The fireworks, there's several <laughs> cats. There's one flying that way, one up here flying that way, and is there a third one? Yeah, there's there's a, third. a small kitty here. I'm not sure if. They are creating the fireworks, escaping them, or what they're doing, but I love this shirt. It's awesome. And they ask also, is it yes. that kitten? Yes, Spoiler. it was. Looking forward to meeting you well, yeah, too. We look forward to meeting you too, Christian. That will be awesome. And we also want to drive there to see the whole of Denmark. I hear it's very flat. So mm. it's six hours drive from um, Ustad. Ustad in Sweden. We'll take the big bridge over to Copenhagen and then drive with the highways. Should be a very scenic drive. And Andreas is here too. Uh, the thing is, I think there are many more Viking stuff to find, especially in Sweden. Almost everything is virgin ground here. I wonder if I will find anything Viking this year. Great save. Of course you will find. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of stuff in Sweden. I, I mm. wish uh, I, we could detect in Sweden sometime. I wish they changed the mm-hmm. laws. In Sweden you have to make an application. Uh, for the land that you're gonna detect on and the uh, application is personal and it will take a year or maybe two years in order for it to come back even if it's uh, rejected or denied and then it yeah. costs money so if you don't yeah. live somewhere permanent it can be a bit tricky to get the permits in Sweden yeah. and I hear they decline them a lot actually maybe if even. there's a chance of finding historical yeah. things so that's a shame, Sweden. And oh, is that two dollars I see there? Two dollars. Engineer S- nine. Engineer nine. Hello there, and thank Hello you there. very much. Model your shirts. 
Well, like you show them. Am I a model? In yeah, my you're, shirt? you're always a model. Oh, does she wants to model our shirts? Model. Please clarify that. Send <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Uh, uh, it's Kia. a shame they don't give you a finder's fee. Uh, actually, in Denmark, if you find something uh, that the museum buys or the government buys, then you will get some money and you split that with the landowner, just like in Great Britain. Or they had some Bornholm that had this 50-50 with the landowner and then metal detectorists in the mainland were uh, like, what did they talk about? Something that the mainland people were, were upset. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe the mainland Danes can comment on that. Yeah. Is it somehow different in Bornholm than the rest of the country? In Bornholm they gave 50% to the landowner. Is it uh, uh, something different there? You can comment if you know. Uh, I bet we're gonna find out on Friday when we are there. And uh, Cruiser242, hello, 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 hello Cruiser. To you. And Lil Baxin, hello. Uh, from Österbotten. Hey, son, hey, Ma- son. Ma- more Österbotnians. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this guy was enough. Yeah. He's, he's from Österbotnia, part of Finland. Yeah, but the best place. No, uh, well, actually, it's not. It's <laughs> th- there's a much better place. <laughs> But nice to have you there, little vaccine. Uh, Cromwell 13649. Are you guys in Sweden? No, we're in Denmark. Yeah. And uh, nice to have you on the on the stream. We are in Bornholm, the Pearl of the Baltic Island in the middle of the Baltic Sea. Uh, and we got a subscriber. Patrick. And, yeah. And I think uh, yeah, I missed it. Cromwell had also that? asked uh, uh, if we had detected in Austria yet. No, we haven't been in Austria yet. It, it would be a dream to go there too. We, we, really fun. we try to yeah go to as many places as possible. Yeah, last, like, last year, maybe it was two years ago, we went to southern Germany, Bavaria. Um, that was really, really fun. Lots of silver kreutzers. Yeah, that was... Yeah. Uh, silver kreutzer <laughs> there, silver kreutzer there, silver kreutzer there. It was the first yeah. time in my life I was like, oh, another <laughs> silver. silver. <laughs> no, come on, something else. <laughs> yeah, those yeah, small, small ones. silver yeah. coins, yeah. So, not, we haven't been in Austria yet, but uh, we're looking forward to come visit you there someday. And, and... Ah, uh, there, Christian answered. In the mainland, we don't share with the landowner. Mm. Well, that makes sense. That makes sense. Because yeah. uh, they said that it's much easier here to get permissions from the farmers. Because they know if you find something, they will get half of it. Yeah. And they find every year a big hoard in Bornholm. So it's... Uh, once like every year. Once every on year. On average. Like... And they found one two weeks ago, two three weeks, weeks ago, yeah, something, something like that. Yeah. It was, uh, they, they find like crazy, crazy amounts of treasure here. Mm. Yeah. Uh, there's more Roman gold and silver found in Bornholm than the rest of Denmark combined. Think about that. Yeah. So a lot, a lot. A lot of treasure. Uh, t- uh, what is the best find you have ever found? Emil, maybe well, can start. I'll show again. <laughs> I'm good at showing photos. Uh, but actually, the best find of this trip... Well, <laughs> Is that the best? <laughs> it's my favorite find. Okay. Can you guys see that? Other way. Is it other way? No. Oh, well, like uh, that. That. Text is that way. Jägermeister. Yeah, um, I'm not really sure what it's from. Maybe a buckle or something. I like Jägermeister. <laughs> I could almost smell it like mm, Jägermeister. That's, that's why he picked it up. Let's see if I can find a photo of my best. Emil will search. 
mine is I don't have pictures, so oh, that's difficult. But uh, uh, Viking silver, hack silver, I have found, and some Viking uh, fibulas. Yeah, uh, like this slang uh, fibula. Slang, slang fibula I found snake here. Fibula. Snakes and snake fibula. And some other fibulas in Finland actually. And yeah, of course I have a lot of silver coins and like old silver coins, but I think uh, in my opinion I, I always like finding a relic of some kind. But that gold can be found together. Yeah, that uh, I, I got the signal, but I would, I, I would say we found it together. But this is my personal best find from Finland. It's about 30 silver coins from the Viking Age, around the year 1000, that I found on a forest path in Turku, in southwestern Finland. And it's very, very extremely rare to find Viking treasures in Finland. I had to go to a press conference and cameras here, there, there, microphones, and here. flashlight. So I was a superstar for a couple of days. And uh, every newspaper in Finland said that. Mm -hmm. But actually, when we, when we found a gold coin too, well, we were in every newspaper in Finland. So uh, metal detecting is quite big there. Yeah. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, we have so many comments. I, I didn't expect to get this many comments. No, no way. This many fans, this many people watching us. Hello from Florida, Ken. Yeah. Hello, Florida. Hey, Ken. Oh, it should be morning in Florida now. Or maybe noon. Achillea, there is treasure in uh, tre there is treasure in Ostia outside Rome. Will you consider it? Maybe uh, Rome would be awesome, oh, but uh, Ostia would be nice. But Italian metal detecting laws quite strict. We are Vikings, but we still follow the rules. Yeah, we we, 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 we Plunder, always... plundering isn't is frowned upon nowadays. Yeah, such a shame. But uh, it used to be better. If we get like permission from the government then yes mm -hmm. but course. I heard there were some small places in Italy where you can yeah in, somewhere in Italy you can hmm. we have to check that out because Italia would be awesome that would be awesome okay. uh, Cromwell I can fix that I think you're referring to us coming to Austria mm. that would be awesome yes maybe 2020 2020 and 2019 fall yeah fall where yeah. about in Austria are you and what, what kind of probably sent the link here also I don't think we can open it now we, we will check it out later but thank you and Andreas asked so you guys dig iron signals also in Borholm yes uh, we today I picked up so many nails so nails. many nails. We do not, um, if they're bigger iron, if the signal is a little bit bigger or stronger or something, you can't be sure what it is, then I always dig it up. Yeah. If it's just, I know, it's a small nail or a rusty piece of something, I skip it. But if there's something different about the signal... Yeah. But today we were in such a perfect place, so you had to dig everything, mm -hmm. every signal that you could and... That depends on the place, of course. Not, uh, I don't always pick up those hundred percent iron signals. Why, why do we have a disco light here? It was flashing. Hmm? Oh well. And the good good best, they give very very tiny small signals, almost like iron. So better dig up everything. Mm -hmm. It takes five years processing. All right, the processing time when you find something and when it goes to the government and when they buy money back. Ah, here someone asks this uh, dig the iron. I found knives, crossbow bolt, and a possible iron fibula on Bornholm. 
And Emil has one I got exactly here. like that. I think this is a fibula. I found it on the club dig and I took it to the experts and they said it's not a fibula. It's some kind of something else. But I believe it's a fibula. It is still... Do, do you see the flash there? Why is it flashing? I don't know. Is this... Is it the light? You just have to hold it there for now. I will hold this <laughs> forever now. Do you guys see my fibula? I think it's a fibula. The needle should come from there and go there. Oh, what do you guys say? And it has quite an, um, a backside there, an edge. But it was very, very rusty on the field. And it's still very rusty. But I'm quite sure this is a fibula. But apparently not. Oh. I think it's a fibula. Emil will take it home. And but in the here in the middle part, actually, you can see the the yeah and the known pattern for a fibula. So it looks. I think it is. Maybe we'll show it to the archaeologist tomorrow. Maybe take it with us. Yeah. Between Bratislava and Vienna, mm, that should be good enough. Bratislava, that would be. You have been to both of those places. Yes. Haven't you? Yes. He has seen the world. And magnesium blue. How did you guys meet? Uh, we actually met when we were studying geology. Mm. Back and in university. Those were the times. Yeah. And. Yeah, first time we started talking, it was like I had seen Emil for. I don't remember this story. <laughs> so I, w I wonder what you want to tell me now. Uh, we had we had probably met a few times, like we hadn't talked, and then we had one this one course together. Uh, what course I, was that? It was some useless some course. Some bullshit like, course. Yeah, yeah. University is full of that. Yeah. So. Yeah, we started talking about something, and then, then I asked Emil, like, uh, "How can you always be so happy? <laughs> <laughs> you always look so happy." That, that's a fair question. <laughs> like, do you do drugs or something? Mm, and, uh, uh, not. <laughs> and then he I was like, uh, "Actually, no, I don't." <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> but, uh, I guess uh, that was our first conversation. Then. <laughs> But uh, af after some party, we started talking about metal detecting, and it like, uh, yeah, I didn't know that Emil was a metal detectorist, and yeah, and I had been doing it in a different place in in Finland, and then we started going on these mm -hmm. metal detecting trips. Mm -hmm. So we would go to the lectures, and then in the evening we would go metal detecting, and then next day repeat. Yes. So that's, we, that's the story of that. We should have filmed back then because uh, we had some awesome finds. Like, uh, had this really crazy spot in Finland. It, it wasn't old stuff, but uh, like mm. maybe 100 years. Silver coin, silver watches, silver everything there. Uh, it was uh, really crazy. That was before the camera times. Yeah, it, before cameras were invented. We, we called this, uh, this place Onnela. And it was like happy place. The happy place, yeah. Uh, and we, like, between us, we have probably got like thousand coins there, at least thousand coins. It was crazy. What else do we got here? John Kernan going to find a fen gold in June. And we'll send the true and Vikings we'll a the true small, Vikings small right. gift. Yeah. yeah. Mm, well, <laughs> weren't we going to split it three ways? <laughs> yeah. The fan treasure with you. Yes. <laughs> but I guess we have to go there. Do uh, metal detecting. Uh, I got really uh, interested about the fans gold. That, uh, yeah, the uh, fans treasure is there was a really rich uh, millionaire, billionaire, and uh, he got some kind of a disease, cancer maybe, and he figured he only has. A little bit of time left to live, and he buried a treasure, like a chest or something, filled with artwork and money and whatnot. 
and uh, he made a poem with clues and apparently the poem, if you can figure it out, then you will find the treasure. But Fen never died from his disease, he recovered, but he didn't go to get the treasure. So it's still there, he's alive, and sometimes he gives out hints or, or tells people that they have been close now. Or, so it's somewhere in... Um, Montana, I think. Yeah, I would guess some, Montana from that the poem, but... Uh, in but, uh, the mountain uh, chain, yeah. yeah. And apparently it's a few million dollars. And whoever finds it gets it. Yes. So maybe someday. Yeah, well, we need to figure out the poem first and the clues. And we're not good at that. But maybe John helps us. And then we will split it three yeah, ways. John is the brain, so we are the muscle. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hendrik said that, that, looks, that like like looks like a fibula. Like a fibula. I also uh, think it looks uh, like exactly, a fibula. Exactly. Yeah, and Andreas, uh, maybe I should re- dig more iron yeah. on my fields, but yeah. this is sometimes not, but mm. sometimes... If it's pure iron, I don't really dig it, unless it's big. But if mm. there's some glitch or something in the iron signal, then I will dig it. Yeah. And Cromwell... Looks like it somewhere, yeah. man. Yeah. Samuel said, says also it looks like it. So. 60,000 Romans 60, lived here for thousand. 400 years. We are interested. Yes. That's we like, like Roman that, stuff. That sounds awesome. But it uh, electrolyzes. <laughs> they should do that. And uh, little Batsin, do you use the Equinox now on this trip? Did you import the Yalovina also? We have our Yalovina with us. Mm. Half of the bottle is gone, maybe. Yeah, maybe. we had some good finds already. Mm. Half left. And yes, Equinox 800. But oh, right. today, I, I I would have wanted to have the Deus, yeah, actually. Yeah, with the sniper coil. It seems to be the king in finding Guldgubber, the golden yes. man. The gold statues. Yeah, they are so thin. So, the Equinox, actually, we tried that and... It doesn't pick them up so good. Mm, you have to be very lucky and very yeah, very skilled to it, find one with an Equinox. Even if they were on the top, like on the surface, it was... You could have thought it was like a ghost signal. Mm. It was... You have... No, it was tricky. It was tricky. Uh, but tomorrow, tomorrow... Tomorrow, tomorrow we tomorrow. will know better. Oh yeah, we're going back tomorrow to the dig. Yes. And we're gonna help with the washing, the fines, the panning, and they're, they're digging a big uh, trench through the whole temple and uh, <coughs> taking layer by layer off and panning, washing, and just picking up all the beads and pearls yeah. and uh, pottery and gold and whatnot. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that place, it's like you can only see fields everywhere and Viking grave, Viking grave, Viking grave, yeah, Viking grave, crazy. Viking grave. It's uh, amazing. The best amazing. place I ever metal detected on. So what else do we have here? Uh, Viking Age coffee cup handle. Mm. Could be. Mm, that's not too bad actually. Maybe not Viking Age but Mm, perhaps, perhaps. Have you ever found anything creepy? I found a cat once. That, that's pretty creepy. I wouldn't want to find a cat. Mm. I have found... Mm. I don't know if I should tell this story. It was really creepy. Yeah, maybe that's a story for another <laughs> time. I know what, it what was, you're referring to. <laughs> you were with me. Yeah, yeah, time. I was uh, with you. Then. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I will save that to an, like... Relic hunting is off. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll be watching your videos. Yeah, they're good guys. They have really good videos, yeah. really funny guys. And they are funny guys. They're a bit like us, actually. Yeah. They're making fun of each other, and they're in the field, and the wives. Yeah. And yeah. I like your videos. Keep going strong there. And what else? This is chat jumps. South Coast Detecting. Hi guys, love your videos. Did you enjoy your time in the UK? UK is always 
Ah, I love it. I love it there. Oh, look what Hendrik says. Equinox 6 inches better than Deus 9 inch. Can you get a 6 inch coil to the Equinox? They had some smaller, right? Oh, we get 6 inch. Small. Well, maybe for the next year's Guild Gubba. Mm. We Many of the guys have invited us back or already, so we will probably be coming back. I don't know when, but. Yeah, sometime. we've got some invitations to some good Viking fields here. They, they are full of crap now, so we can't go there this time, but. but someday, when, someday. When the crops are gone. Oh, and the guys that invited us to their walking fields also gave us some gifts. A local Bornholm beer. This one is empty already. <laughs> I don't know who's drinking beer around here. Swanecke, local brewery. It was really, really good. You could not believe what my Equinox 800 has found. Now Equinox 800 is a really, really yeah. good machine. It's really good, but uh, we have found some awesome stuff with that also. Uh, okay. Crazy, but those good, good, but it was so yeah, difficult. You need to have a smaller coil. Yeah. A smaller coil. Yeah. Probably when you have the small one, you will find. I have some finds here from this trip. Maybe I don't know how I should. There's lots of... Actually, I'm gonna put them in my hand. Will this work? Or will I drop them all? Those are all silver coins that we've been picking up. Most of them are from the 1800s. There's a couple ones from 1700s as well. I'm not sure if you're able to see anything. Probably not. Well, anyway, a bunch of silver coins. So we are happy about that. And you know, when we find silver, we drink the yellow vina. I'm sure yeah. they, they know. Please tell the story about the creepy find. Mm. Ne next time. Next, next time. Ne next, yeah. next time. Because it was really creepy. Are the Viking graves written in rune language? Uh, they have... Um, Sometimes the rune stones that's raised where there are runes, but uh, usually the graves are just mounds now. Yeah, and they have all been excavated a long time ago. They're like a big, uh, big, yeah. big hills. Big hills. Yeah, you see, the landscape is flat like this for miles, and then out of nowhere there's a hill, and I can bet there's always a grave one. Yeah, on those. Uh, made my stomach hurt by all the laughing. <laughs> yeah, Henrik. Yeah, Henrik was detecting with the, the really counter Denmark. Denmark yeah, we watched those videos. They mm. were funny. They're yeah, really funny, guys. Are you guys coming over for Detective Well, We're gonna try to make it. Yes. Depends a little bit on uh, work schedules and so, but. I think we might be able to sort it out. Yeah. That, that would, would be fun. That would be really fun. Nice gifts. Yes, indeed they yes. are. Yes. Really beer, beer is always good. And best Swedish coin you have found. Mm, that's gonna be a hard one. Mm, well, I found this really big Öre uh, from uh, Gustavus Adolphus II. And that was pretty. It was copper, but big. And uh, Gustav II is one of my most favorite Swedish kings. He was a warrior king. So that yeah, was really he, cool. He, he's the best king. He was fighting all over Germany and mainland Europe. So I have found lots of nice silver coins as well. But that uh, copper one might be my nicest for me. Mm. My nicest, uh, I I like old Swedish coins actually. They are awesome to find the old ones, but I have some silver one, seventeen hundred something. Can't remember right now. That's a pretty one. Mm -hmm. 
and I once found a really big uh, Russian coin like that in silver half a kopeck from 1817 mm. that was not too bad either what settings do you use on the equinox so, so that I can catch the good gubbe uh, well we still haven't caught our first good gubbe but uh, we tried it on the ones that uh, our friend found and you have to have the sensitivity to 22, 23, At 24 least 20, yeah, uh, something with, like with that. 20 it didn't even register and, even uh, if it was on the surface it didn't yeah. take it and uh, highest frequency because they're so small And uh, but it did pick up on multi frequency also slightly but uh, with the high frequency it was slightly better and the signal was going between 0, 1, 2, sometimes spiking up to 13, 5 and uh, iron. Mm. Very, very tricky. In most places I would skip those signals. But there, I dug them up. Yeah. Hey, mainly digger. Everything's good here. And Samuel, the first video will be out, I hope, next week, Tuesday. It's almost done. Almost done. It's gonna be perfect. Yeah, we're working on it. Uh, we have had so much detecting here, and we're quite exhausted in the evening, so not yeah. that much editing. And um, yeah, Cromwell is going. Bye bye. See you, Cromwell, and we'll see you in uh, Austria. Austria. So, sometimes. Andreas, one other copper. Mm, yeah, it might have been half an hour actually. I, I don't remember. One or a half hour. Posted the six inch in your messenger, boys. Thank you for that. We'll check it after the after the feed after the stream. Christian the Fourth is the best king. You're welcome, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what about well. those Game of Thrones kings? That can be pretty cool, <laughs> the old Targaryens with their dragons, just saying. Yeah. But I haven't even watched the latest Game of Thrones since we've been so busy here. It got released on Sunday, so no spoilers in the chat. <laughs> Marku, paras löytö Suomesta. It's best, like best, best find in Finland. Finland. Well, my best find from Finland is uh, like this uh, Viking fibula solki. Uh, yeah, like, the Hevosen Kenkasolki. Hevosen Kenkasolki. Yeah. Horseshoe fibula. That's my. I love it. And mine must be the Viking Age silver coin heart that I showed earlier. 30 coins from around year 1000 from uh, southwestern Finland, Turku. Where are you, Marco, detecting? Where about in Finland? And what's your best find? Oh, thumbs up. You're welcome. Right, all right. What else? Well, so... How many languages do you speak? Ah, uh, three. Three, like, fluently. Klingon? Um, oh. <laughs> no, not fluently? No, not fluently. A little bit. I, I speak Swedish is my first language, and then Finnish, English, and then I have studied a bit of German and Spanish, but I would not dare say that I speak those two language, <laughs> languages. So, three for me. But I, we can, of course, understand related languages like uh, Norwegian, a bit of Danish. Estonian. Yeah. Just starting the hobby, Lapland. Lapland. Oh. Lapland is great for a Second World War. From the Finnish Russian War. Oh, yeah. Finnish German War. When they uh, uh, chased the German troops away from Lapland. I'm actually thinking if I have time. This summer I will go to Lapland. I have some good places uh, 
thought out. Gonna search for some Second World War items. I live close by, so. Mm. Uh, John Kernan, you guys rock. I say gold in your future. June, guys, June. Yeah. yeah fans, fans, gold. Yeah. Someday, someday. I see lots of gold in my dreams as well. And cats. And Henrik, my best find is in video 10, a true Viking find. And, oh. Yeah, I remember, I think we watched that Viking Which find. one was that? I remember the um, pendant with the n- Norse story that they mm-hmm. told us about the Norns. And I like that pendant, but I, I don't know which one is number 10. What have been that? Yeah, and what else? There will be a YouTube video from Lapland, yes. Yeah. When we go there, we're gonna film. Yeah. Mm. Uh, maybe we could, like... Uh, yeah, maybe everybody knows that we're gonna be here for in Denmark for... Yeah, we have been here for one week and then... Yeah. The One gu- more week. The guys here have been very, very extremely friendly. Uh, we went, we got to go with the local club, and the guys there, well, yeah, you can come on our fields when the crops are gone, and, and what about this, and we're going to have an excavation here, do you want to join us? And, and I would say Bornholm people, Bornholm Danes, maybe that, uh, all of Danes are like that, I'm not sure, have been super friendly. Uh, awesome. So big thanks to them, and they're giving us gifts and beer and, and uh, this book. Actually, we got this today from one of the guys. We, it is in Danish, but I'm sure we will figure it out. It's about the excavation site we're going tomorrow to, and where we were today. Yeah, it's the the Bornholm. How do you spell it? Uh, the Bornholm. The Bornholmska Amateur Klubben. Klubben. Awesome people. Yeah, the, that stuff that they have been finding from the, that settlement. Buried treasures. And we were talking with one of the guys today when we were there. And, and we asked him what's his best find. Because he said he goes with a metal detector quite a lot. And he said that... Uh, like half a kilometer from where we were standing. Not even that, it was closer. Was it closer? Yeah. yeah. Okay. He found a um, silver plate, like a silver dish that you eat from, that was bent in a container shape, and inside that was a big gold necklace. And that was Roman. And he, Roman. Has a, he has a picture in this uh, book. Yeah, he said that actually. Man, I can find it. He had been detecting for 30 years. He had, like, crazy stories like what he had found it was like our finds are nothing and everybody here in Bornholm has found like big hordes like 300 coins and Thor's yeah. hammers here and there and it's really uh, crazy gold coins but at least you guys know that we are not planting a or finds because we never find anything. We never find anything. <laughs> now we do find quite a lot of things, but <laughs> but you always wish you could find something more, don't you? I'm gonna see if I can find his his gold necklace. Yeah. What else? My best find is a big and beautiful 1561 silver coin. The video will soon come out on my channel. Yeah, I have to check that one out. Mm-hmm. And yes, we saw that gold coin too. What was that? Did you know? Gold coin? <laughs> no, I can't find, find it now, but it's somewhere in here. Congrats on that one, if you found that gold coin, it was awesome. Samuel actually just found a big bandit gold coin. 
And Michael says, my is bronze axe and piece of a sword. 3,500, 3,700. That's, that's quite old. Bronze Age. It was a it's chocolate. chocolate. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, that would have been horrible. Yeah, actually, we had one story on the club dig. Do we have a story? Like, of that dirhem. That uh, the one of the club, yeah, club people found. Yeah, that, that was a big fight over that. Yeah, they were fighting if if it's a dirham or or uh, uh, like well, a, well, not dirham but uh, Viking uh, age Viking coin. age coin, or if it's aluminum, and they couldn't decide. I thought it looked like a coin with yeah. uh, patterns, but but some other people thought it's a uh, aluminum replica or aluminum something i'm almost 100% sure it was a coin i think it was a yeah. coin as well samuel you little bugger <laughs> <laughs> damn you samuel <laughs> yeah chocolate coin my michael my my is a bronze sax and a piece of a sword oh wow I'm still Those. looking for my bronze sacks. Yeah. And a piece of a sword. I, I found that sword piece in Germany. Yeah, yeah the, those hand guard. The hand, hand guard. guard, yeah. Well, wasn't that old, maybe 300 years. But still pretty nice. <laughs> and yes, it might have sounded like a porno. <laughs> yeah, we watched it. At least I, I watched that video clip. <laughs> <laughs> I, haven't, pr- I haven't seen it yet I have to check uh, it tonight. Uh, It was pretty funny What is your favorite books or music? <sighs> Tricky one Well Lord of the Rings might be it for me I haven't read it them in a few years But uh, I did read the shit out of those books Once mm. upon a time Yeah I read a lot of history, fantasy, both together, and yeah, of course I have to say Harry Potter. Harry Potter? <laughs> yeah. Why not? Why not? <laughs> yeah. And now I'm reading a book about. It's full of surprises. I'm reading a book about Genghis Khan now. It's awesome! Oh my oh, god! That uh, would go to Mongolia for that. Genghis Khan but Mongolia special. is big It's big but uh, We're big too Did you Our coils are Did you big. listen to that podcast From Dan Carlin already? Not yet Yeah, no, that Dan Carlin time. I'm detecting all the time Well you You, you, <laughs> you Have your headphones on anyway When you're detecting I don't know what you're listening to uh, Dan Carlin Is one of the Podcasters And he has a Great um, Series about Genghis Khan I think it's like four or five uh, episodes and every episode is three four hours long mm. lots of history in that one very descriptive history of how yeah. everyone dies he has really good podcasts that's Learn something that. you might want to check yeah. out if you're interested and, uh, uh, i actually found a silver barre and an e-bed what's a barre Michael's fields once he invited. Mm. What's a barra? Silver. Barrel. Silver barrel. Uh, H- Henrik, what's a barra? You have to comment. I have a field on Bornholm in Good Haim. You can visit where I found a medieval crossbow bolt, a hammer with silver Viking weight, Viking and medieval knife. And pot fragments yeah. and a possible We did drive age. through Good Jam yesterday. Yesterday, yes. We went touristing a little bit to the big castle, biggest castle in uh, Northern Europe, was it? Yes, I think it was. Yes, Ham- yes. Hammershus. Big, 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 big. For some reason, no people there. They were pretty much the only ones. Yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe we're off season here, and then we saw the. Uh, Bronze Age paintings and carvings on the cliffs. Of there were fourteen different ships. The ships were like this big, carved into the rocks. 
there will be some footage of that sometime in the future. A silver bar. Oh, and then on the way home, we drove through a good gym where some of us yeah, feels hard. Like probably a hack silver then. A silver bar? Okay. Yeah. That's yeah, you, you found one in England? I found one in England, yes. There's it a video like somewhere of that. 32 grams, I think it was. Uh, Big piece. 32 grams. And uh, one gram is... 50 cents, 50 yeah. euro cents. Uh, so I that's could, uh, 15 euros. I could have maybe bought myself a case of beer. Case of beer in thousand years ago. Mm. Yeah, somewhere that sounds like a good field. Mm. But uh, ev- everything has crops right now. We are like in a difficult time here. It's bad timing, yeah. And tomorrow we we'll go with the uh, archaeologist to start the mold. And then the day after that, we're gonna leave for the mainland Denmark. Yes. So we won't have time to visit that field this trip. Next one. Best finds for me is a clipping 1626 and a big 8 kilogram cannonball from my maybe Na- Napoleon War. Also the big 2 uh, 1768. Is the clipping a silver clipping, the square one? Or the bronze? I have actually never found a clipping. Not like a silver. I have. I this haven't even found the bronze one or a copper one. Oh really? I have a no. copper one. I know you. You've been digging them up, and my brother is digging them up all the time, but I never had one. Actually, now when I, uh, when Andreas asked me what best best coin, Swedish coin, I have, I have a clipping from fifteen. 76 site. That's an old one. Yeah. Copper. And you can still see the year. Hmm. Usually, clippings are very worn. Yeah. Most of the time, you don't see anything on them. But I would like to find one of those uh, Ploto. What's the name? Like yeah, the, the big, big ones. square money. Like many kilos. The Swedish. That big. They have stamps in the corners of the year and uh, the king, I assume. And they weigh they can many be kilos. Many. They can be really big. Yeah, why why is the light big. flickering? So I now it's, it's the lamp. disco light again. Sorry about that. I hope it's not too disturbing. Platmunt. Oh, Platmunt. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Michael says everyone is always welcome to my lands. Oh, that that mm-hmm. we are happy to hear here. Where where do you live, Michael? Where was it? You mm-hmm. maybe said already, but probably somewhere, yeah. Yeah, yeah plot. Yes, that sounds. Find me on Facebook under yeah. some unknown and ugly mug. All right, we will do that. Yeah, we'll do it after this uh, stream. Copper clipping. It was a uh, copper clipping. A copper one. Yeah, but those are always... The clippings are nice. They're nice, I like them. Never still found one. <laughs> and I've dug up hundreds of Swedish copper coins. This guy lights. <laughs> this is how it's gonna be in Rome as well. When we come. To Ostia. Zealand. Denmark, Zealand. Zealand. It's all over the place. Oh, have to remember that. So, what's the time we've been here? One hour One now. Hour. Maybe we should. So maybe start to slow down. Any last questions? Anything you want to know? To know before? Before we exit Viking country. Yeah, maybe. What what, do, what would you like to hear us talk about? Let's put it that way. Yeah, tomorrow we're gonna go with the museum again. So, early morning, back to work. Mm, it's gonna be a long day. And Emil gonna will be fun. there with the wheelbarrow again. I, I did it already today, yes. it was heavy. <laughs> <laughs> now they dug this trench that they're excavating now. So they will put the soil from the trench into the wheelbarrow 
uh, push it, or I'm gonna push it to the station where you sift it and you spray water on it uh, and then pick up the pottery and metallic and treasures. Now that will be a fun day. I'm quite sure we'll find some more good goodbye. A creepy story. Creepy fine. Tell us the creepy one. Next one, next one, next time. <laughs> You shouldn't have mentioned that. <laughs> You'll have to tell it at some point. But Are you doing any live streaming on field whilst here? We could try that. Yeah, we're not exactly sure how to do it on the phones yet. I'm a little bit phone handicapped myself. <laughs> <laughs> you might have noticed. Yes. <laughs> it has the Instagram. What? Do we have slow motion? <laughs> Those slow motion clips, they look fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're gonna have lots of slow motion this season and drone footage. Yes. <laughs> uh, but uh, yes, we could actually try it. Probably not from the archaeological dig, but when we are in in West Denmark with Christian and Martin. Yes, could try and it from that would be fun. So that will be For a, a Saturday and Friday. Yes. Something like that. How do you pay you for your trips and so on? Yeah, we work a lot. <laughs> work hard, play hard, right? Yes. Now we, we are geologists, so we do our job is all over the world. So usually I will do a project somewhere and then that will be for four weeks, six weeks, something. And then you get a few weeks off, and in that time you go and uh, metal detect while you have saved up the money. Yeah, and I, I live in Sweden actually, I mean, yeah, the cold north, behind the wall. Above the Arctic Circle. Yeah, behind the wall, where it's always frozen, and I work in a mine, so I try to save up my money and then go metal detect with them. To a warmer climate. Yeah. We're trying to make one or two trips per year somewhere. That's that's our goal now. Just hit the live stream in your profile. Ah, that that explains. <laughs> what what is that? What? Yeah, if I we want to like if we want to live stream from the ah fields. from the phone. Mm. Oh, that that's quite smart. Yeah. See, I thought you was handicapped when it <laughs> <Yes>. comes to that. <laughs> okay, we will we will probably try to do that on Friday or Saturday. Yeah. If it's raining a lot, maybe not, but otherwise. Are you going fossil hunting? You can find a lot of fossils here from the dinosaurs and also trilobites. You found a fossil today. I find a, found a fossil today. I don't it, know what it, it was. W- it but wasn't the trilo. It wasn't the trilobite. That's the only one that I can... 100% say that, 100% say for sure that it's a trilobite, so... Well, what about the T-Rex? What do you recognize? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe it's a cow. Yeah, well, we are always keeping our eyes uh, open on the fields and try to pick surface finds, and every now and again you find a fossil. Yeah. But we're not actively fossil hunting. The fossil went to the museum. Or then I dropped it, or... No, it's in my pocket. It's in your pocket. You gave it to me. Oh, yes. He stole it from me. <laughs> you gave it to me. <laughs> well, you, you, yeah, I gave it to you for... Hey, look, a fossil. And then, whoop, didn't see it again. Achilles says, it's been nice to chat with you guys. Hope you find that huge gem. Gem, we will do that. Thank you for yeah. supporting us, yeah. Achilles. Yeah. Thank you for... Nice to have you watching. Support. High tech fins. I'm very low tech. <laughs> that might be a joke. <laughs> Sarcasm. <laughs> Maybe. He, he's flying with drums and stuff. He's high tech. You guys are role models. Keep up, up going, champ. I'm out in a minute. Thank yeah, you, Henry. You, you should get better role models than us. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we will see you in. Uh, I hope you come to Detective Wall, and I hope we can come to Detective Wall. We try to go and detect with uh, Henrik actually. 
but the times didn't go well, yeah. so... Next time, but next time. Next time we're here, or then you will come detect with us somewhere, or we'll see you in the detective world. Thanks yeah. for uh, for watching, Hendrik. Yeah. Was it the fossil sea urchin? Uh, You'll answer that one. I have no idea. It was some kind of star. A star? So maybe a sea urchin. Starfish? Mm. Not sure. I couldn't make out so much of it. Ah, Henrik, so yeah, uh, Henrik and me and Brian is going to the detective world, so... Oh, awesome. uh, Brian is the guy that has been showing us some fields here. He yeah. was the first one to invite us to Burnham. Yeah. So, thank you very much, Brian. Very appreciated. And we will be with Brian tomorrow again, I think. Will we? Yeah, he, yeah maybe. We'll have to message him. Where? I'm Blumen on Detective World. We have to drink Halloween, of course. Yeah, well, That's like, if we find something, we have to find something to drink Halloween. You don't even have to mention the obvious. <laughs> <laughs> yellow and but when we find drink. something, then we drink. Or then after, I don't know, 8 or something, when it gets dark, then we drink again. Mm. Then we don't have to find anything. It's getting dark now. Yeah. <laughs> Should we have a drink? See you in Saland in a couple of years, maybe. Yes, we will we'll, see you. We'll, we'll we will see, see you there somewhere. somewhere. All right, it's slowing down now a little bit, so maybe that will be all for this time. Yes, I think. that and has been fun. Our first uh, stream. First stream ever. I think it went pretty well. Yeah. Did it? It went pretty well. We are alive. People are still watching. Twenty-four people watching now. I have one more message here. Okay, last one. Hello, how many Viking silver coins have you find, found in Denmark so far? None. None. None yet. But silver coins, one, two, three, four, five, six here on my table. Yeah. Silver coins, but I'm not Viking. Not, not Viking yet. But soon. They're drinking metal detector. Is this <laughs> all I need to know about <laughs> <Roman adults. laughs> Thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, that will be everything for this time. We yeah. live dig Friday or Saturday. Yeah. In Denmark time, sometimes during the day. Yeah. It will be yeah sometimes early. early. Okay. Well, let's wrap it up. And good night to you guys and wherever you are in the world. And yeah. Thanks for watching. You have been awesome, every one of you. Everyone's been awesome. Yeah. And see you next time. The treasure is out there. The treasure is out there. Now we'll have to figure out how to turn this off. How does this turn off? I'm no, not my that's, mouse. That's the <laughs> mouse. End see you. stream. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>